Russia is attracting nearly a half million Chinese tourists every year. CCTV's Anya Ardieva reports an agreement between the countries is meant to develop tourism. Russia and China are not only neighbors on the map. The two countries shared similar histories in the 20th century, and this fact now helps Russia to attract hundreds of thousands of Chinese tourists. In May, in Shaozhan City, birthplace of Mao Zedong, China's National Tourism Administration and Russia's Federal Agency for Tourism signed a memorandum on cooperation, agreeing to develop 10 red tourism routes. Красный туризм — это комплекс военно-исторических маршрутов. Red tourism is a complex of historic and military tourist routes connected with life and activity of the great revolutionary and public figures of both China and the Soviet Union. Svetlana Pitihatka, the executive director of the Russian Travel Association, says the proposed red tourism routes will begin with four main Russian regions and will then be expanded to other cities in the future. In the future, we hope that other regions of Russia will be included in this project as well, the regions which have destinations for red tourism that are connected to Lenin and our Soviet past. This is a must-see destination for those interested in red tourism, the Gorky estate some 20 kilometers south of Moscow. This is where the leader of Russia's Bolshevik revolution, Vladimir Lenin, lived from 1918 to his death in 1924. Last year, Russia saw nearly 400,000 tourists from China, more than from any other country. They spent a total of $1.2 billion here, as travel to Russia has become more affordable after the devaluation of the Russian currency. We have quite a lot of Chinese tourists coming to Gorky. The interest is growing. Last year, we had about 10,000 tourists from China. The number of Chinese tourists traveling to Russia is growing every year. They average 50 years old, and over 80 percent come with tour groups. These tourists are the main target of the two states' red tourism project. In 2014, Russia also launched a China-friendly program, aiming to create a comfortable environment for Chinese tourists by providing language support and other perks. Anya Daiva, CCTV, Moscow.